Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Draw Along Show. Glad you're all here. And uh, we're going to get to do some drawing together. I'm just getting my uh, stuff set up here because I had a few technical difficulties there at the top of the show. Hopefully um, I can get these resolved. So I'm just going to see what happens here. Um, anyway, hope you're all having a nice week. Um, we have our kids in school, which is nerve wracking, I gotta tell you, but so far so good. Everyone's wearing their masks, everyone's doing the right thing, so let's see how long that lasts. I'm trying to be optimistic. Ay, ay, ay. How about the rest of you out there? How are you holding up? Let me know in the chat, talk amongst yourselves, give each other a little um, positive encouragement, okay? Because we all need it. Um, all right, so for today's show, we're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna start with the you draw it. That's where you're gonna follow along with me and draw. And we're going to do a step-by-step -step drawing, keep it nice and simple for everybody. Um, the beautiful thing about these drawings is they usually take about 10 minutes and you have something completely finished. And you can always watch it back, draw it again. Simple steps, simple shapes, that's the goal. All skill levels, all ages are welcome on the Draw Along Show. Second thing we're going to do today is brand new. We're going to do a short art meditation. Yes, we're going to do that. That's going to be pretty fun. And then we're going to close out the show like we always do with the world famous animal and activity game where you suggest for me an animal doing something funny, strange, bizarre, weird, unexpected, and we will draw it at the end of the show. Now, when I say suggest, I mean you write it in the chat. Which chat? Okay, here's the thing. If you're watching on YouTube or Twitter, remember that I am following the chat at behance.net slash live. Also, you can find that at be.net slash live. That's the chat that I'm following. So grab yourselves a pencil, a pen, a marker, a crayon. Uh, you could also just get yourselves a really expensive microphone and you can dip it in a bunch of ketchup and draw with that, okay? I'm not gonna judge. Uh, let's get to it. So it is drawing time. Folks wanna ask you a question. Um, any musicians out there? Why is a piano so hard to open? Well, it's because the keys are on the inside. <laughs> Terrible. All righty, now, to do these drawings, you have to be able to do three simple things. And let's remember what those are. They are a straight line, okay, a zigzag, or a curvilinear line. Could be an S curve, C curve, whatever you like. All right. Now, if you can do those things, you can follow along. Hi, Viola, hi, Steven, hi, Christelle, hi, Jan. Hi, Steve. Nice to see you. What's up, Sam and Fabio and Mercurio and Umacord? All these nice folks joining for the show. So glad to see you. Um, remember, be.net slash live. I can see you out there. We can chit chat. And let's get to it. Today's drawing. We are going to start, <clears throat> like we do with many drawings, with a straight line. But this line is going to be at a very slight angle. Now, don't do this line. I just want to show you something. Here's horizontal, okay? I'm just going to change it a bit like that. All right? So, that's the angle we're going for, right? It's not quite 45 degrees, maybe something like a 30 degrees, something like that, I'd say. We're gonna make a little box on top of that, okay? So check it out, I go up and over and down. See that? This is the beginning of our drawing. Let me zoom in on that so you can see it really clearly. Check it out. All right, that's the beginning of our drawing. Now from here, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna follow this line down and swoop it out. See that swoop? Make that a little longer. That's a nice little curvilinear line. It's like a letter J, you know? And we're gonna do that again, right here. All right, so here's my line. Check it out, just underneath, whoop, number two. And then again, number three, okay? So we come on down like a J, and we just kind of echo the bottom of that J shape, the curve of that J at the bottom, all right? Nice to see everybody in the chat greeting one another. That's great, everybody's friends, I love it. Need a rim shot with that joke, says Katie. Uh, boy, I wish I could accommodate you. Hey, all righty. Um, now, let's continue with the drawing. This line right here, we're actually gonna continue it as well. We're just gonna come right through and we're gonna do a little tiny curve like that. That's a small one, isn't it? So we come down and then we just kind of scoop out a little bit, a little bit of a scoop, scoopity doop. And then, zing, we just come down like that. Look how tiny that line is. See that, scoopity, and zing. Okay, remember these sound effects, very important. Right here, we're gonna do a letter C, okay? This is actually gonna be the ear of a person. 
Now that C is gonna look like this. Okay, I want you to follow along where I place it. Not over here, not over here, but right about here. That's where I start it and I just go like that. Okay, so check out how that sits relative to this line, the back of the head and the front of the head. Okay, pay close attention to that folks. Alrighty. Um, right here, another little letter, letter C, but it's gonna be more like a U. We're gonna flip it around. It's gonna be very small, just like that. Okay, and here I got a little line, just angle it, okay? Check out the length of that line. And we're gonna curve down to about here, curve down to about there, okay? That is where we are so far. Excelente. Now from here, I'm going to draw an angle down this way. All right, let me make that just a hair longer, there we go. I want this to fall basically underneath the eye. Okay, so we're looking at alignment here. Alignment is importante. All right, now we're gonna draw a line down like this. Check it out, it's another angle. And what angle is it? Well, it's about the same, isn't it? As these two right here, the front and the back of the hat. Okay, good to notice that kind of stuff. And from there, all right, I'm going to draw a line straight down essentially. So just a little bit like that, okay? A little longer than that, pardon me, there we go. That looks about right, ba-boom, ba-boom. So it's not quite as long as that line, is it, right? But it gets down there. All right, now, I want you to look at this ear, I want you to look at the space right here. I'm gonna pop down below the ear, right about here, and I'm gonna come down and stop, okay? Then I'm gonna cross over this line. Okay, check it out, cross it over that way. Okay, now back behind the hair here, Okay, I'm gonna leave some space, drop down from here, come down, and over the same distance, all right? And then I just close off that gap, simple. Here I'm gonna do one, two, three little dots, or dashes, whatever you want, okay? A bit of detail work there, and you'll see why, okay? So, check that out, one, two, three, and then right here, I'm just gonna do like a sort of a circle and leave it not quite touching that uh, vertical line right there. Alrighty. Pizza deliverer, says Steve. Mail carrier, says Mercurial. Piano player, says Viola. Good guesses, folks. But I'm gonna give it away right now. Check it out, we're gonna draw a line up this way. Boop. And then at the top, uno, dos, and tres, and cuatro. Look at that, draw a little box at an angle, okay? these lines following along with that and this might clue you into what's happening here okay now imagine this line is going to carry on through here so just do this okay Zhunk. and then right here we just close that off see how I'm leaving a little space between the arm and the bottom of what this is now it's a coat okay boom 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 we do three more dots right there okay similar to these and now here I'm gonna draw a line at an angle, okay? It's gonna come down this way. It's gonna be the longest line I've drawn in the entire drawing. Okay, are you ready? Down to about here, check it out. Zoom out so you can really see the length of this. Ooh. Just like that. And then a right angle for that, okay? And there's a leg. Now to complete that leg, I'm simply gonna draw a line from here and curve it on down, check it out. Easy peasy, okay? And then from here, I'm gonna draw a line down, pause. Okay, now how far is that? About halfway down the length of this, right? And then I'm gonna angle it back this way, okay? These two lines have about the same uh, angle, do they not? And then, much like here, nice little right angle, okay? Same length as that, more or less. And then from here, we're just gonna curve on up like so. Okay, and there we are. Now, this is the tricky bit. We are gonna draw a circle here. I wanna show you a trick for drawing circles. First thing you do is you draw a square. Okay, and you can freehand that, right? And don't worry if it's wobbly, ba -ba 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 -bum here. I'm not using any assistance. Okay, that's gonna be just fine. And you wanna draw crisscross one line from corner to corner. And then we go down through that, okay? And then we connect 
here, 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 and here. See what I did there? All right, now why are we doing this? Now, at about the halfway point or slightly higher between here and here in each corner, okay, you're gonna make a little mark right there. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, and now I just wanna kinda connect those, okay, like this. Now, if you're using a pencil, what you do is you draw this very lightly, okay, and then what you do is you're gonna trace over that, okay? So, let's check that out. Whoops, hang on a minute. Make a new layer, paste that on there, and I'll knock that back. So I'm, let's imagine I'm drawing that really faintly with pencil. Okay, and then what I can do is I can draw with more confidence a nice circle like that. See that? And that's what I want to have right here, that circle. Okay, so I want to place that in about the right spot. I'm going to erase away parts we don't need there. Okay, and it's okay to have these. I like these little gaps in my drawings. You've noticed me do that plenty of times. And then here you just want to have a nice thick strap. Okay, it's coming over the shoulder and connecting to the drum right there. Okay, and you can do a little sort of action line kind of thing here so we know that he's or she is hitting that drum. Okay, and like we often do, you can add a little ground plane here just by doing that. Bum, bum. And there is your marching band. Whoops. Let's uh, get rid of our, our other stuff here. Boop, 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 boop. Take care of that. And um, there we have our you draw it portion of the show, which is a person marching along, beating the drum, and um, that is pretty fun and easy to draw. Plus, I got you, you got that little trick about how to draw a circle. You can take that and um, do what you will with it. It's a good little little art tip there, baked into our you draw it for today. Um, Remember that one going forward. Okay, if I went too fast, you can always watch it back. Don't you worry about that. Uh, we're going to do a little art meditation now. This is going to be pretty cool, and I hope you enjoy it. I really like doing these. I've been leading a lot of art meditation classes the last two years, um, and I thought, why not do it on the Draw Along Show? Wouldn't that be a nice thing to do? So I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorites, because you're some of my favorite folks, okay? Um, let's see, any comments here before we move on about the You Draw It Steve saying could be the salty sea captain. You never know with me, do you, Steve? Could certainly be that. Drum major, correct, yeah, got it, no problem. Let's check out this art meditation. Now for art meditations, I'm slow everything down, okay? Because the first thing is to remember to breathe. A lot of people, when they do activities like this, they hold their breath, that's very bad. Um, so before we start, we're just gonna do a nice, long, deep breath, and I want you to try it like this. I want you to Count to four when you breathe. And on every count, you just draw a little dot. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Breathing in, I'm gonna say, breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and then breathe out to a count of eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, drawing a nice long line. And you do several rows of this. So you breathe in again, Hold, exhale, five, six, seven, eight. Do that three or four times in a row just to settle yourself down. All right, and then you are ready to be, okay? And you can draw them close together. You can draw them far away from one another. Here with you too. All right, um, and I want you to draw between eight, I'd say maybe eight and 12 of these, okay? So I'll draw one more over here. There. Now this is what it's gonna look like for you, okay? And what you do next is instead of playing connect the dots with straight lines, I'll show you this, you can start at any one of these dots and you're always gonna get a completely different um, drawing out of this, it's really fun. You draw a curvilinear line from one dot to another. Now you can start on any dot, like I said. Why don't I start with this one right here? And I'll connect it to this. So here we go. Slow down. I just draw a little curvilinear line like that. Pause for a moment and decide where do you want to go next. You could go to any dot. Let's say I want to go here. Well, I would simply 
continue the curve and I would connect right there. Alrighty, so far so good. Now let's say you wanna go here. Well, you have choices, you have options. I can come up this way and then connect like this. Okay. Notice how I can continue that curve from where we were, okay? And I could naturally come over here if I want. So I think I'll do that. Ta -da. And maybe go here. So curve around like this. Now, let's say I wanna go here. Let me show you a trick. You can loop. If you wanna get fancy, watch this. I can loop and loop up to there. Connect down here. It's a big one, look. You really gotta slow down and plan this out, okay? And then up to here. And now where does that leave us? Well, we have that one place we started with. And so I can just come around and finish it off. And there is your drawing. Now that is one of my favorite exercises of all time. Absolutely love it. So try that out at home. You always get a different drawing every time using the same dots or different dots, whatever you want. Settles you down, cools you out, and it's one of the most wonderful things you can do for your brain just to remain calm, take a little pause in the day. I think you'll like it. Alrighty, you know what time it is. Animal and activity game, here we come. Animal and activity game. Now, for the animal and activity game, you get this, oops, I mentioned this at the top of the show, but first we have to do appreciation station. This is very important. Alrighty. Today we are appreciating our good friend Viola. Viola, there you go. Now, Viola, you and I have been friends a long time. Maybe you remember this, maybe you don't. Um, but I had to play my original concerto, my piano concerto at the Met, and I accidentally glued my fingers together with super glue when I was fixing one of my model planes. Stupid me. Um, fortunately, you had perfected your piece and made it into a mask, you know, kind of like Mission Impossible. Threw that on, ran over to the Met, and you performed the entire concerto. Um, because everyone knows you're a better piano player than I am. And guess what? The audience was none the wiser. Everything worked out great. So I want to thank you so much for saving my bacon on that day and getting me out of the jam. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right. That's what friends are for, right? Back to drawing. Now, animal and activity game. Suggest for me in the chat. Okay. Something um, that an animal could be doing. Examples from past shows. We have a sloth on a unicycle. We have a surfing monkey. How about an owl playing the banjo? Look at these great ideas you guys have had, right? You always come up with something cool. And I'm gonna grab my nice light blue color to get Mercur mercurial, I like that one. That's a good one. A bald eagle with a terribly wacky toupee. <laughs> That's funny. Steven, uh, Steve, I mean, um, lion riding a bicycle that's fun water buffalo doing the splits i'm going back to steve's bald eagle with the terribly wacky toupee because that's just so funny so i'm just gonna do it all right now i'm gonna design this really hideous toupee here and we're gonna have that That beak's a little big for an eagle. There we go. He's going to be looking at it saying, oh yeah. Like, I look good. He is feeling pretty excited about this toupee, folks. Check him out. Yeah, he feels very proud of that. Let's knock that back. And let's grab our darker blue, make a new layer. Yeah, for those of you out there who don't know what's going on, I'm drawing in Photoshop, gang. Good old Photoshop.
Got some comments about buffering. I hope that that's um, a little better now. Had a terrible internet connection all day. Mentioned up at the top of the show that had some some weird glitches today. So what can I say? Technology is not perfect. Um, still pretty cool though that we can do this at all, isn't it? I'll hang out all over the world. Do a little drawing together. But I gotta say, I hope that doesn't mean that you all missed the um, the drawing meditation. I hope that I hope that worked out. I hope people could do it. It's very near and dear to me. There he is, majestic mountains in the background. Cheap and easy way to make mountains right there. See that? That little trick I'm doing there? You just kind of draw a little zigzag line down the middle. Oops, hang on a second. There we go. Might have enough variety in the shapes. Okay, and there, there we go. There is our eagle with a bad to pay. Funny suggestion and fun to draw. I appreciate it. Let's hide that sketch. Slide it on over to the left. And we'll bring back our friend here. Our marching band friend. And that is the draw along show for the day. So there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow, same time. So everybody remember that the most important thing you can do out there is to be kind, all right? Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, as I always say. And until tomorrow, same time, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 2.30 Pacific, I will say ciao for now. Take care, everybody.